game on. Hey, fighting game fans. It's Posh Alligator and Nate Hawk here. <laughs> with a tra training video for you. Okay, we're playing Notch Plus Blasters. Yeah. It's coming out in Europe fairly soon ish. Pretty soon, April. Yeah. Uh, we're doing some training videos because we're doing a tournament. So, training makes sense to do. Yeah. Uh, we're not allowing ourselves too long to train, because otherwise that'd be unfair. It's 15 minutes, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, 15 to 20, really, I suppose. Okay. Garen usually goes over. I see. Um, I'm actually going with the recommended support. Oh, yeah, there's recommended support. Huh? Well, there's three ones. Um, Interesting. So I'm going with these two Iria and Yuki. It never really occurred to me also to look at that. The Stone Lady and the uh, Zombie Lady. Zombie Lady and Zombie Lady. Oh, Zombie Lady, I hate Zombie Lady. That's the most annoying support of all of them. So how come you picked Super Sonico? Well, she's one of the only ones I actually know who she is. So that's nice. Yeah. Um, is it because of the boobage on the cover of the game? That's not why I know her. No. She's okay. just quite popular. Um, she's got a weird fighting style. She's a keep away character, isn't she? She's got a like, cat. She's a bit of a troll character, I guess. That one cat the isn't tea, doing anything. The bagging cats. Um, I should probably check the controls. Oh yeah, I guarantee change everything. Um, and now restore defaults is bound to uh, the touchpad. It's okay. Which I'll that controller um, doesn't have. Oh, you can just match it to player two, I suppose, and then then you know where. Escape action, is. heavy action. Okay, so it's weak, medium, strong at the top, and yeah. then escape and heavy. Yeah basically. And then the L buttons are the partners. Weak. Strong. No. Medium. Strong. Oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, I don't like that set the control setup at all. I, w I would set it up to be like Blaze Blue style. Wait, what's that one? Heavy action. Yeah. So that's different to strong attack. Yeah. It's like a unique move, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's basically it comes out really slow, and if you charge it up, charge it up, like if you just do it, it'll launch them away. Um, if you charge it up, it'll give you uh, a wall bounce that you can combo off of. But as far as I know, you can't really combo into it. So it's more of a thing like maybe you do a block string and push yourself away a little bit and then you do that and kind of like wait for them to press a button then you bounce them off the wall and then tumble them off that. Okay. That's my first impression anyway. Um. I think that's an anti-air? Yeah. It looks like a really good anti-air actually. Look at, look at the range on that thing. Yeah, it looks like it's got some pretty sick range. That's pretty nuts. Did seven hits. It's quite that, impressive. <laughs> is that good? Well, wow, most of those were just that one. You get multiple hits per button you press, though. Hmm. How much damage is good damage? Ah, uh, ooh. I think a decent combo in this game should take off probably a third of the health. 25 to 33% to at least. How many damage points is that? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea how uh, what the total amount of damage points in the life bar in this game is, even is. Well, that's a thing. Is that a combo? I don't know. Well, it's, it's, it was a grey gray combo, so the last hit didn't work. Oh. Yeah, that's decent. That's respectable, I think. Generally, in all fighting games, your goal is the same. To um, have combos good enough to minimize the amount of touches you need to kill. That doesn't look like it did much damage. Though. So, for example, if you have a touch of death combo, it means that you only need to touch once in order to do a combo that will completely kill the, the opponent. Um, most games will vary between, like, I don't know, three to five touches if you always get the ideal combo when you open the opponent up. Uh, 
But uh, in a situation like this, where we only have 15 minutes to practice, I would just find like the easiest decent damage combo I could find and just, just make sure I can do that. Oh, this doesn't look that bad. I'm not sure about the damage it's doing though. 3000, I said it was cool. Well, if they, <laughs> if they say it's cool. Okay, probably so is. some of her main special moves then, I have played this character a little bit before. Not that much though. Uh, the drummer and the other one. I guess the guitarist. Okay, um... Yeah, so I suppose with this character it's quite important to use your, your range as much as you can. Because that's your, have... your big uh, advantage. Like with Super Sonic Boy, I, I doubt you actually ever want to be as close as you are now. Yeah. Probably gonna want to be like a half screen away. Probably just gonna have more. to troll it. To yeah, honest, just yeah. on the edge of that is probably where you want to be. So I can just like fling cats. Yeah. So I guess mainly I'll my main tactic will probably just be like chip away, rather than doing a massive combo. And then you 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 have the annoy yeah you have the annoying band member that can come from behind. Yeah, okay. she can come from there. She can also come from there. She can come from there. Yeah. Which See, that's a super horrible. tricky thing, because when you're that far away, you your opponent is so close to the corner that you can't see them coming. Yeah. So, uh... uh and she can also come from... No. She can also come... from above. Yeah. But you've got to make sure you get the distance right based on the strength. Yeah. So those are technically two different moves. How much damage does that do? It does quite a lot of damage. Uh, not that. That's a amount. If you keep getting them caught with it though. So you can like throw stuff at them, make them like upset that you're just like flinging things at them all the time. And yeah. Then... And then, then your friend comes from behind with that drop kick. Um, yeah, I think you can win matches uh, with that in this uh, in our little tournament. That cat can go all the way across the entire screen with the uh, heavy action. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, that's actually quite quite useful, I think. Do you have to charge it all the way for it to to go across? No, it's gonna do it anyway. Oh, that's quite good, actually. Wow. How do I get the uh, assist people? L1 and L2. Pressing it doesn't seem like it's... Uh, right. Right buttons. Yeah. Oh. But that's not L2, it's R2. Okay, so I'm calling the zombies in. Yeah, and that's... Zombies. I've got zombies coming. Got the kick person doing their thing. Yeah, this looks annoying. I think that's this is good. It's like all angle attack. So I can I have the zombies coming, I can be throwing the cats down, and also be setting up the drummer and the kick person. Yeah. So like you don't know what to block, where to go. <laughs> yeah, I think for I think for a noob tournament like this, this is um definitely the way to go. I think that'll be make you a strong contender. <laughs> I love the spin attack. Okay. Okay. What what other moves does she have? Oh. Well, okay. Let me play that again. Uh, what sort of super like? <laughs> oh my god, this is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Oh my goodness, what was that? Oh my goodness! Oh, oh that's quite cool. Oh my goodness! Um, it's a techable combo though, so they can't get out of it. But uh, but will they? <laughs> yeah, but will they? That's quite cool. Holy shit! This is sickening. I'll not be able to do most of these cool things when it actually comes down to it. Though. Oh well. Um, just do do that and remember what your anti-air was when they inevitably jump, because they're gonna want to jump when you send the cats out. Oh! I love that. Sickening. 
But yes, I think you have what looks like a decent basic game plan for uh, what you want to do. Which is step one. Oh, goodness. I'm a little bit concerned, to be honest, because uh, the character I'm gonna pick um, is gonna be exactly where you want him to be to do all your bullshit. So I would have to... Um, it's uh, two middle buttons. So triangle and circle. Oh no, it's not because you changed the control scheme. It will be triangle and R1 now, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, so, so it's medium, medium and hard. And doesn't seem like she actually really throws them though. Hmm, yeah. I feel like that would be too strong actually if she threw them like far away from her. Yeah, she's just got to back off. She got like a little run. Um. Infinite Blast, what's that? Oh, is that like a power up state thing? Yeah. Um. I'm honestly not entirely sure what that does. I've not done the research on this. I was just I was just using it basically the same way I would use a Roman cancel in, in Guilty Gear. That mm. I would just cancel my combo and then do something more. Cover girls photogenic. That's the best move. Yeah, so that's double quarter circle forward and medium and hard together. Yes. Oh! Oh, hello. This might be my favorite move in the game. This is what I go for. What does that do? <laughs> I, I think I think uh, the, your opponent is in love. I didn't see that power. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that does. Can you maybe not attack? Or maybe uh, you don't do any damage when you attack? Or maybe you even heal her if you attack her? I don't know. I've not seen this before. Yeah, it's a little bit weird now, because um, this game has been out in, in Japan for a while. It's out in the US as well. And, uh, you know, the dedicated uh, Nitro Plus fans have been playing it for a while. But I, I don't know anything about this game. Yet. It looks like in theory I could do that kick off of any wall bounce. Mm. Yeah, I think so. She reminds me a little bit of Fast. You know what I mean? Um, no, not entirely. I think what she wants to do is different. She got a kick that can come from any angle. You have an uppercut as well, though, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you can. Watch it. Yeah. Can you sure you can from across the screen, or is it like half? Oh, yeah, you can sure you can from. <laughs> she can come away. from anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. This is not her. Yeah, she if, can't, if you can't, her sure you uh, can move can't make it all the way though. That's as far as it goes. Yeah, 80% of the screen is pretty offensive anyway. I guess you've got to like know where you want it to come out though, is the thing. Can you do a wall bounce into the Shoryuken instead of the, the back kick? Um, hmm. Yeah, just try to do the Shoryuken after the drum girl. I'm not sure because it is the drum girl, so they might be Oh more yeah, so, so they can't. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Can you do wall bounce cat or uh, into into sure you can? Yes. Can you do wall bounce cat into sure you can into drop kick girl? Oh, it really testing me here. <laughs> oh no, man. This is why you're better at finding this. Hmm. Oh, this is this is how you how how you learn things in fighting games. You okay, you see the down. thing and then you go, hmm, I wonder if that works. Okay, then you that try down. it. Of course, you could always just like go to SRK or Dust Loop and just read how you're supposed to play your character. But I like the 
experimentation more. It develops different fighting styles for for for, for uh, different characters. Okay, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it anymore. Just uh, take your time, <laughs> or don't. How much time do you have? Oh, I actually did a special move. Um. Well, that's kind of cool. Anyway. Oh, well, that works. Can you do uh, wall bounce cat into drop kick girl into uppercut? That's the only thing you can do. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can do this, Oscar. I believe in you. God damn it! There's so many button combinations that appear. Doing it a little bit early. Um, I would wait as a cue, I would wait to do it until she bounces off the wall and then you execute the output. Oh no, that wasn't even. I'm not getting the uppercut now. Okay, that's the uppercut. I mean, that's still from fairly decent damage. Yeah. And it's a bit happen. overwhelming, I think, for them. Because they've got like two things running at them. Because they're like, mm. that thing isn't going too fast, and then someone comes along yeah. that's faster than that. Uh, can you do uh, the wall bounce cat into the girl that drops from, from the top? Because I'm Doesn't assuming uh, the 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 girl that drops that she's an overhead, and uh, I'm assuming the the cat is a low. So then you can go low high. Well, one thing you can do is pretty good mix up, I guess. Is you can do that into one of the kicks, but you mm. can do it into either kick from either that kick, yeah, or you can do it from you can do it like that kick, yeah. So you can come from any direction. Well, I think that would be same though, because um, when they do the the kick from from the other side, you don't have to change your block. You always block the character, I think. Okay. So so it's just a matter of holding, just holding back. I'm pretty sure. That tends to be how fighting games work, anyway. Yeah. Okay, I want to check a special thing real quick. Oh no, you screwed it up again. Oh, oh you messed everything up. Oh, it's all wrong now. It is all wrong. So backwards, sure you can. Light and medium. Quarter circle forward, light and medium. Quarter circle back, light and medium. Okay. Also works in the air. That's a pretty basic move then. Light and medium, right? Yeah. Ah, that's vicious! I think it's always that one cat that's sleeping. Uh. Was it back So, can you can? do the wall bounce cat into the drop kick into the super with the drum girl? Wall bounce kick. Wall bounce cat into into the drop kick into the super. Into the drop kick into the super. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's fine now. <laughs> do the thing. Let's do the thing. What does the upcut super do? Oh. Well, that's interesting that she disappears right next to them. Yeah, mm. yeah that's uh, why I thought that, that might work. She's a great character. I don't care what anyone has to say. <clears throat> well, I think I've gone over time. <laughs> okay. 15 to 20, I said. And, uh, yeah. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Cool. Uh, yeah. She's interesting. Yeah. I like the cats. Uh, she's a bit of a troll character, I think, or at least that's how I'm going to play her. Yeah. So, uh, it definitely seems like the way she should be played. So, so are you happy with your selection? Uh, do you like Super Sonico? I think I made the perfect choice for me. Mm. I think this time I'm feeling confident about my character selection. Does this make you more of a Super Sonico fan? Are you gonna go maybe to Deviant Art check out some of that Super no, Sonico fan art? I don't know. Apparently, her anime wasn't that great. Oh, really? Oh. But I still probably will watch it. Oh, so <laughs> check it out. She's cool. She's in the band. She I like. She's band. got cats to help her and her bandmates to help her. She's uh, someone who has a lot of connections. Yeah, she has a lot of friends. Yeah, she's got a good social life and a good support network. She's I mean, she doesn't gal. even have to fight that much herself. Like me. Hmm. Thanks for watching me train. Cheers. <laughs>